Samsung flagship line of Android tablets is considered to be among the best on the market, competitively challenging Apple iPad with each new release. As Apple revealed their most recent iPad Pro earlier this year, rumors of Galaxy Tab S10 are beginning to circulate. If rumors are to be believed, Samsung seems to be reorganizing its release strategy for its next model. Perhaps dropping the three Galaxy S models, it typically distributes in favor of only two for the S10 series. Here is all we currently know about the forthcoming Samsung Galaxy Tab S10. Next month, Samsung is anticipated to introduce the Galaxy S24 FE along with its next-generation high-end tablets. However, the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra's high-resolution photograph has leaked for the first time ahead of its debut next month, showing its appearance, which is much the same as its predecessor. Previously last month, a low-resolution picture of the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra appeared online. Renowned leaker Evan Blass shared the finest picture of the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra on X, revealing its true nature. The forthcoming Samsung flagship tablet's high-resolution render shows no differences in appearance from the Tab S9 Ultra. With its gray avatar, the tablet is visible. Its massive screen, which may be 14.6 inches in diameter, features a notch to house its two front-facing cameras. You would also be let down by the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra if you were dissatisfied with the notch on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and thought it would disappear this year. The bezels around the screen seem to be even. The Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra features notches and pogo pins on the bottom, when oriented landscape, for attaching the official keyboard attachment. The tablet has a dual camera configuration with flash and a magnetic attachment point for the included S Pen Pen on the back. The MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus processor is anticipated to be included in the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. With its flagship tablet, Samsung is using a MediaTek processor for the first time. Other than that, there may be no notable differences from the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. This is also confirmed by the Galox. It may come pre-installed with One UI 6.1.1 for Android 14, and it will get at least four years of Android OS upgrades. The tablet, like its predecessor, offers 45 watt rapid charging. Rumor has said that Samsung may decide not to release the standard Galaxy Tab S10. Only the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra might be launched with it. Deciding to create, according to leaked photos, the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra will have a high-grade construction with a sleek and contemporary Samsung design. The tablet's glass design and anticipated metal frame will give them a luxurious but sturdy appearance. It seems that the bezels have been reduced or that the screens are now much more immersive. Specifically, it is reported that the S10 Ultra is even thinner than the previous model, which might make it the smallest tablet available. It is anticipated that both of these devices would include a magnetic strip on the back, similar to the Galaxy Tab S9 series, for keeping the S Pen. Next, it is said that the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus would have a 12.4-inch Super AMOLED display. However, it is said that the S10 Ultra would have a bigger 14.6-inch Super AMOLED display. Rumor has it that both markdowns occur at 120Hz, which results in silky smooth scrolling and an improved gaming experience. High resolution means clear, colorful images that are ideal for productivity activities and multimedia consumption. The newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 CPU and up to 16 gigs of RAM are hidden under the surface of the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra. This translates to excellent performance whether you want to utilize demanding apps, play games, or multitask. Additionally, the tablets will be able to connect to 5G networks, which will provide very fast internet with little latency. Even for a tablet, the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra rear camera system is probably outstanding. A 13 megapixels main sensor and a 5 megapixels ultra wide lens will be part of the dual camera arrangement on the rear. All of them will provide space for high quality, expert photographs and films making them perfect for tablets used for both business and leisure. It is anticipated that the front camera will include an 8 megapixel sensor, making it ideal for selfies and video chats. It is probable that Samsung's One UI 6.0, which is based on Android 14, will power the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus 
and to 10 Ultra. There will be many elements in the software that are tailored specifically for the tablet form size, making it a seamless experience. Users may be interested in features like increased S Pen capabilities, DeX mode, and multi-window support. Additional features will also included. 1. Support for the S Pen. The S Pen is said to have better latency and a few additional capabilities, which would further enhance its potent productivity or artistic output potential. 2. Audio. To provide a rich audio experience, a KG may tune the stereo speakers on tablets into quad speakers. 3. Security. Most likely equipped with a fingerprint sensor underneath the screen, which will provide consumers rapid and safe access to a device. 4. Storage options. The Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra could also have a variety of storage capacities, ranging from 128 gigs to 1 terabytes. Furthermore, micro SD card expansion for storage will be supported. Speaking now on cost and accessibility, the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra will really be unveiled at the event, and they will be made available soon after. In comparison to what is often found on premium features and specification sheets elsewhere, it will be priced steeply. Given that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra are high-end tablets, their cost will probably be considerable. Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra. The former is anticipated to begin at $1,299, while the latter may start at $1,099 as well. Just looking at the pricing would demonstrate that the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and Tab S10 Ultra are powerful tablets that can compete with other high-end models, thanks to their superior features and performance. For elegant, premium models, this is what you need. Assuming Samsung doesn't significantly modify the construction and design of its next tablets, we should anticipate batteries that are comparable to those found in the Galaxy Tab S9 series. The Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra and Galaxy Tab S10 Plus should have significantly longer battery lives than their predecessors thanks to a more powerful processor. Short battery life is one thing a tablet cannot have. In any case, it seems that the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra are safe distances from this. The S10 Ultra will feature a bigger 11,200 milliamps battery than its sister, the S10 Plus, which will have a 10,090 milliamps battery. It is said that both of them have rapid charging capabilities, making it possible to quickly reload the battery as needed. For those of you who use tablets on a regular basis, this will be quite helpful. Thanks to a certification listing, we are very positive that the Galaxy Tab S10 family will carry over the 45 watt charging capability of its predecessors. This indicates that, as the chart illustrates, the new tablets will charge at the same rate as their predecessors. In its natural state as well, you have to choose between file transfer or wired screen extension and charging. If you connect the Magic Keyboard, you get an extra USB-C port, but that's only good enough for charging, not data transfer. Samsung, which ships a far better desktop solution than Apple in the form of DeX, seems to have finally realized the need for a full-fledged secondary USB-C port. It seems the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra will be the first one to have that convenience. What about dual USB-C dongles? In the context of mobile devices, Samsung has a dedicated support page that advises against doing just that. Despite the convenience, we advise against this practice due to potential risks, says Samsung, listing audio interference, overheating, and device damage as the key hazards. Samsung won't be the first brand to embrace the dual USB-C formula on a tablet. In 2017, the Acer Iconia 110 table put two micro USB ports on its all-white chassis. More recently, Lenovo launched the gaming-focused Legion i700 tablet with USB-C ports. Reports suggest Xiaomi is planning to follow in the same footsteps. One UI, most likely a modified version of One UI 6, will be pre-installed on the Galaxy Tab S10. There will undoubtedly be a One UI 7, and we anticipate that it will be built on top of Android 15. It's still too early to say whether it will make an appearance on the Galaxy Tab S10 series. It will depend on when the tablets are actually released. So that's all we know for now. We'll be sure to keep you updated as soon as we have more information. Thanks for watching.